Hello everybody, Twinkly Frog back for another episode, episode 2 actually, of Ark Survival Evolved. This is going to be, like we said in the last episode, season 3. Haven't done a whole, whole lot since last. Gathered up some materials, but not really, you know, done a lot. I did, however, on a piece of paper, kind of design out the way I want the area to look. Um, poop. <laughs> Man, you really had a poop there, homie. Oh well. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is I'm going to build a couple of things to get us started. The first thing we're going to need is a smithy, which I've got all the stuff together for that. Uh, smithies take up a big, big, big amount of space. I'm pretty sure you have to put them on some sort of a structure, don't you? Yeah, everything requires it to be placed on the floor, which doesn't make any sense. You have to place them on the floor. Why? Uh, let's try here. Here? You work here? What about here? Can I tuck you up right here? Oh, my telephone's ringing. Listen to that. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I recently got a new number for my home, and I have had so many telemarketing calls lately, it's not even been funny. I swear, the guy who had this before me, this number, I don't want to hang it off, must have been just like putting his number on everything out there. Okay. So, one of the reasons why I got the smithy is because I want to be able to build... Ooh, I don't have the ingram for it yet. Uh, the sickle, because we're going to need lots and lots and lots and lots of fiber. Probably didn't... Did I pass it? No, there's metal tools. Sickle, 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 sickle. Where are you? There it is. Bam. Go. So, I need to know how much metal you need for that Ooh, 18 okay so we may just be making a trip up to cold mountain there to get some metal but we're gonna do that together since we haven't really been up there yet oh he got a level cool 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 um he is gonna be my utility bird i'm gonna pump weight and probably a little bit of speed but not a lot of speed um, I could probably bang out 18 metal without going into the cold. Holy moly. It gets so ridiculously bright up here. Let's take the gamma down by half. There we go. But why bother when I can basically just go right up here and grab enough metal to do what we got to do? But man, look at this, guys. This place is gorgeous. <laughs> There's a mega piranha swimming over there. And here, let's look down. Man, do you see all the silica pearls, guys? Look at that. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, behind us, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So silica pearls are going to be absolutely easy to gather. And as you can see right there, see that little brown spot where his head's at? That is a crystal spot right there. So the crystals, super, super easy also. Oil nodes, I showed you guys those yesterday, so you know how simple those are. Wish there was some metal down here. Man, if there was, it'd be perfect. This may be a little laggy as we kind of go into it for the first time because I have not loaded any of this yet. So as it loads in, given the high detail graphics on this game, it could be a wee bit laggy. Um, but, you know, it's just something you have to deal with. It's also, it's an alpha version game, so we can see if I see any metal. I know there's metal on this mountain. There's got to be. Every mountain like this has metal on it somewhere, some shape or form. I've also seen a lot of T-Rexes up here. Um, I haven't seen any of the actual dire wolf shit. Any metal yet? Metal? 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 No? No metal? The great thing... Oh, there's some savers. The great thing about playing on a single player war, and look at that, they are all up on this metal right here. Okay, maybe we can get over here and get this and get out without getting killed. Ooh, yeah, we are getting some frame issues. I think you can type S A oh do this. S A T A F P S maybe. Yeah, we're only getting oh man, it's dropping. Twenty frames. Yep, twenty, twenty frames right now because it's still kind of loading in on us. But you know, no problem, no problem at all. <laughs> This is going to over encumber us super fast. So we need to get rid of the rocks. You still over encumbered? I don't think so. The bird, he doesn't have a huge, huge weight yet. So we're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of you. 
Um, so that's not too much weight on him, actually. You know what? I see you, buddy. Yeah, I see you. Thanks for the level, homie. <laughs> So let's Ah, oh, man, there we go. Oh, nice. Got some trank arrows out of that. That's always nice. So let's go back over here. Anybody else? No? Cat's rolling down the hill. Cool. Try to finish mining up this metal. I still have my collection rates jacked up pretty high, as you can probably tell, by the amount of metal we got out of that one node. Because like I said, man, guys, I just do not feel like making this a Arc Mining Evolved server. Or, uh, experience. Wait. Wait. He got two levels? What? Yeah, I mean, the stuff he's killing is pretty high level right now. And, you know, he's at that, that fun spot where he... Sweet. So we can head back now with our metal. So I am going to head back with the metal. I am going to get the sickle made up. And once I get some materials collected and we are ready to... Well, I'll probably start laying it out also. So once I get it laid out some, I'll come back with you guys and uh, show you what I got. BRB. All right, and we're back, but only for a few minutes. I just want to, I didn't want to, you know, we went to collect that metal to do a specific thing, and I wanted to bring you guys back before I did it. I know you've probably seen it before, and it's not that big of a deal, but I wanted to go ahead and craft the sickle with you guys. I know, I know, I know. Sentimental crap, whatever. You know what? I don't need that anymore. Um, we're going to place the sickle right there in slot number four. Bam. Now, check this out. Yeah. Yeah, nothing but fiber, baby. Yeah, that's the way the sickle works. And since we're going to be laying out our floors with thatch originally, having a sickle to gather tons and tons of fiber is a good thing. So in just that little short period of time, you know, we do have increased gathering on, too. We collected that much that much rudder. So basically, two, four, six, eight, ten, one thousand, and one hundred fiber. So I'm going to be building some thatch stuff, laying out some groundwork for our thing, and I will be back with you guys shortly. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wiggy the Frog here. I just came back, and look what I just found. I just found a T-Rex in my base. My, uh... My guy killed him. My uh, my Triceratops killed a freaking T-Rex. Of course, this Argentava's got to come over and try to... No, bro. Oh, you're going to wish you hadn't done that, homie. He's going to knock you dead in one hit. Yep, see? That dude has over a thousand melee damage. He will crush you, bro. But let's see if he looted anything from that Rex. Anything good. Two crappy slingshots. Some arrows. Not bad. Another crappy slingshot. Some more arrows. A crappy hat. So, it, oh, oh well, I threw the arrows away. That's okay. We can make millions of arrows. Where did my bird go? There he is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop a couple things off real quick. And I am going to land full. Oh, it's a Dota Curus. Man, I need one of those bad. Well, not really. I got my uh, rates up high enough. I don't really need a Dota Curus. But let's, 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 let's go like a soap. I have gotten so much fiber, it's not even funny. Let's drop you. Drop you. Stupid. Nah. <laughs> See, I get my butt whipped. All I gotta do is run to my dudes, and they will just destroy these homies. 
I need some of that hide, homie. You broke my boots. I gotta repair them. We break. He broke my hat. Man, you broke my pretty hat. That ain't cool, bro. Repair. I don't need that, that, and that, though. There we go. So, let's continue to drop things off. Stone can go. Can go, 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 go. Probably drop that into my thing. Okay. So the bulk of my weight I dropped off, you know, thatch and fiber don't weigh that much. I wish you could burn fiber, man. That'd be fantastic. 125 metals so far. I think you can burn thatch, though. Can you burn thatch in here? Put out fire? Play fire. Cool. I'm going to burn the thatch. Man, I got so much thatch, it's not even funny. Let's burn that. Yeah, there we go. Keep the spark powder for something else. Making gunpowder and stuff like that. But I really don't have a use for that much fiber right off the bat. Basically what I was doing is I was just clearing out a lot of the bushes when I was building. Which I'm going to show you guys the building in just a minute. So there we go. Fiber go bye bye. Okay. So let's grab a bird. Where'd he go? Bird is a word. Yeah, you guys are all dead. He loot anything from you guys? Uh, a spear, which we don't need. A hat. Oh, that's a ramshackle hat. That is so cool. I ca I try to keep all that stuff just because it's it's cool. I think you know they get like a ramshackle freaking cloth hat. It's craziness cool. I think it is, but you know, what do you, I'm a dork. So none of this is needed. There we go. Okay, so let's fly up. And I did the general layout with thatch, like we had talked about before. Uh, and I want to show you guys. It's it's pretty big. I think. Boom. There it is. So that's the general layout of what the building is going to look like. Now, I know from up here, it probably doesn't look all that fantastically huge, but trust me, it is gigantic. So this entire back wall back here, don't mind that. And I may add a couple more rooms on, so I haven't finished completely. What the heck? Oh, that's where I started building earlier, and I ran into uneven terrain constantly. I was going to build it back there, so I decided to go over here. Um, started going that way, ran into something, even had a stop. Uh, of course, this way, this big old rock is here. So I started on the edge of the rock, and I went up that way. And I went that way, and I ran into a you can't build here. So I kind of looked that, like that. Like a do. Like a soul. Like a soul. Like a soul. Like a soul. So, so far, that's what we got. So this entire back wall area back here. I'm going to make this all storage. All of it. Every type that we basically get will have its own storage. Um, and there'll be a lot of it, a lot of it. Um, but yeah, that's it. You know, I'm not going to do any building on camera. I just used thatch. I will be replacing this with stone. I like the way the stone floors look. So I'll be replacing it with that. Uh, but what we want to do in this next part of the episode, we are going to build ourselves this little, little uh, catch chamber, basically. What are you doing, homie? What level is he? 44. Well, you chilling, bro? It's okay. You can you can stay there. It's okay. I ain't mad at you, buddy. So we're gonna grab ourselves one stone foundation, one, two stone windows, and we're just gonna go ahead and grab two, three. You know, let's put the stone windows back and grab two wooden windows. That'll look a little bit better. So, and like a so, we can actually put you here. Put you here. There we go. We're going to build a box. And this box will have serve one purpose and one purpose only. Ah! Stupid cat. It is going to be a taming box. Where'd my bird go? Where'd he go? Oh my god, where did he... What? Dude. Would you get scared? You're level freaking 160. Oh, good lord. Anyways, like I was saying, this box will serve one purpose and one purpose only. We will drop stuff in it. Like a soap. You know what? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go with one, two. Oh, dang. I'll grab five. Uh, boom. 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 There we go. 
Grab half of the wooden one. Half the windows. Let's grab all the windows. It's not too heavy, right? No. Cool. So, let's build our box. This is going to be our tame box. Okay, so... We're going to need... We're going to need... You know what? I should have brought a door frame, but that's okay. We can fix that. So, eight. No? No? We're just going to do windows all the way around. Reason being is so we can shoot the stuff through the windows. And I need to put a door in. Yeah. So I'm going to have to probably craft that because I doubt I have one. So, door I need. Oh, man, I just threw all our stuff away. Did it despawn already? Yeah, it's no big deal. So let's go V. Uh, that's not wood. Let's do wood. We're looking for a door frame, which is is somewhere around here. There. Yeah, fiber thatch. Okay, we need the standard stuff. Easy enough. Easy enough. There we go. We should definitely have enough of everything. So a door, and we need to make an actual. No, no, no. Uh. Oh, no. It clicked the right one. Haha, <laughs> go me. So, yaw. Yaw. So, this is basically just a taming box. V. Oops, I meant to hit I. Uh, we'll put you here. Put you here. Seven. Like a soul. Bam, bam. Perfect. So, basically, you just take your little bird over here. Wow. I get these huge lag spikes, but the funny thing is, is I don't get them when I'm playing on multiplayer servers. I get them only when I'm playing single player. I don't know. I've been trying to look how to optimize. I just, I can't figure it out. I've been looking and looking and looking and nothing seems to make any sense to me, but I'm not super smart when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, ooh, I don't want to take you either. So what are we going to try to grab? Okay. We're going to try to grab ourselves a dire wolf. Now, before we grab a dire wolf, we are going to make a miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, you. So we need one wood, ten hide, ten fiber, and two crystal. All of which we should have. Crystal, crystal, two. Uh, hide, we have already. I uh, don't remember how much wood it said, and I don't remember how much fiber it said. So there we go. So V, let's make a U. We're gonna need this to spot guys. <clears throat> Do you in here? No, no. Do I have any narco arrows? I don't need them right this second. I will when I come back. Arrows. Oh wow, I don't have hardly any narc arrows, and I'm not doing so well on narcotics either. I don't think. Uh, inventory. Uh, I have 11. So, when we grab something that's a high, high level, we are going to have a hard time taming it. So, I'm going to gather up some stuff. I'm going to get some narcotics making up, and then we'll go out and find ourselves a level 120. Probably Dire Wolf. I'm going to look for at least a level 116 to 120. And uh, I'll be right back, gentlemen. Hey, guys. Togi the Frog. Welcome back. Uh, well, I was not able to find a dire wolf over level 20, which really, really sucks. So I found this level 112 scorpion, so I'm going to go ahead and tame him. Scorpions are always good to have around because they tend to lay a lot of eggs, and the eggs, of course, are used for, well, you know, taming and that kind of thing. I can't get a decent headshot on him right now, so why did I lay down? So what I want to do is grab one of those stone found Put that there. You know what? You... You and you can go there. And we're going to go six. Drop it right there. And bam, look at that. I got a headshot now. So I've only got 11 arrows on me, but I'm hoping, 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 hoping that is going to be enough. And while we're doing this, let's talk about... We're not going to actually do a... That hit the wood. There we go. 
We're not going to actually do a verse of the day. We're actually going to talk about a biblical figure. A biblical figure named Joseph. Now, Joseph is in from Old Testament. Um, and if you ever once think that you had a bad day, well, Joseph will definitely make you look the other way. But the one thing we need to take from Joseph is this. We need to take the fact that Joseph, no matter what life threw at him, he kept his faith in God, and God always saw him through all the way to the end. So let's talk about what happened with Joseph. Joseph was born the last child, um, and because he was the last and... You know, even as a child, he had the favor of God on him, so things always just seemed to go his way. Even his parents openly, you know, made it very clear to his brothers that Joseph was the favorite. So naturally, they were jealous. So one day they decided they were going to take care of it. They sold Joseph into slavery in Egypt. Yep, that's right. They sold their own brother into slavery. Isn't that terrible? So... When they did that, they told the parents, hey, you know, it was terrible. Joseph got killed, blah, 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 boom. So anyways, Joseph was bought by the captain of the Egyptian guard. And almost immediately, this captain started realizing this guy, Joseph, was he was different than other people. He wasn't, he was just... It's hard to say, you know, exactly how he felt, but it was basically, it was, like I said, it was just very obvious. This guy was different. You know, he had the favor of God on him. We, Joseph knew why he was different. Whoa. Of course, that guard had no clue. But, you know, he figured, quickly, quickly realized that basically everything that little Joseph man did, that Joseph did, it just, it was like golden. You know, everything he did, everything he touched was basically awesome. Got here, hooker. Oh, ow, through the wall for real? <laughs> Who's faster? Me or the saber tooth? I'm thinking me. You sucker. You about to be dead, homie. <laughs> hey, Big Papa don't play. Remember, Big Papa has got 1,043 weight. And his attack, or no, and his damage is 170. So Big Papa don't play. Big Papa does some damage. But anyways, Joseph got sold into slavery, and the the guard that bought him, of course, was very wealthy. Obviously, he was able to afford a slave at the time. You know, that was pretty wealthy at the time. Oh, excuse me. But uh, he quickly realized this guy is different. Everything this guy does seems to be just golden. It works out. Perfect. So he decided to put Joseph in charge of his affairs. So here you have a guard, an Egyptian guard who has bought a slave, and he now has seen so much potential in this slave that he has decided he's going to put him in charge of stuff. He put him in charge of all his household affairs, everything. All of it was Joseph's uh, was Joseph's charge. Um, finances, crops, you name it, Joseph was in charge of it. Well, the uh, guard's wife started eyeballing Joseph, you know, because Joseph was a good-looking guy. You know, had a lot of favor upon him. You know, everyone liked Joseph. Everyone wanted to be like Joseph. So he started, eye she started eyeballing him. Well, one day when no one was around, she looks at Joseph and she's like, Hey, Joseph. Come to my bed. And Joseph's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come to your bed. I can't, no, no. And he explains to her, you know, he lays out this huge list of why he can't do that and why it's wrong. You know, because Joseph has the favor of God. So he knows right from wrong, unlike a lot of people. Um, pause the story for just a second. While we're talking about the story, I'm going to craft up some better armor. That's right. I went and got all the stuff to craft up the new fur armor and a set of chitin armor. So... Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Sweet. So everything should craft up now. So anyways, she's like, come to my bed. Joseph's like, uh, no. Because Joseph knows, you know, this is not what I want to do. This is this is bad, you know. <laughs> Sleeping with the boss's wife ain't good. Plus, you know, out of matrimony, all that kind of thing. You know, Joseph knows right from wrong. Like I said, he's got the favor of God. 
Um, so she starts to get mad. You know, she gets a little, she gets irritated. Fur, that's all I did was the fur top. Okay, so let's do that, 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 and that. This stuff takes 264 pieces of that pelt, and that crap is heavy. 200 of it weighs 100 pounds, so luckily our bird is a beast and is able to carry it all. So let's take this off. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, so one day she pops into Joseph's room. He's changing clothes, whatever, and she goes, okay, you know what? She grabs his tunic and takes off with it, you know, kind of playing around with him, that kind of thing. And he's like, hey, you know, bring that back. You can't you can't be taking that from me. You know, it's my shirt. You know, this ain't right. Get back here. Give me my shirt. She's like, no, nah, I don't think so. Just like, okay, okay, okay. So she got my shirt. What am I going to do? You know, so some guards notice her doing this. And they tell the, uh, the captain. They tell him, hey, you know what? This is what we saw. And he's like, what? So he immediately, the wife is like, oh, he tried to rape me. He's like, what? He tried to rape you? Oh, no, he didn't. No, that's terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Joseph ends up in jail. Now, you got to remember, this is the guy who was just shortly ago in charge of... What are you doing, fool? Oh, cool. Uh, Going to name him Crazy Legs, just like the last guy. Legs. Boom. Oh, I spelled the Crazy Legs. We'll change that in a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Huh. So Joseph, the guy who has the favor of God, is now in jail. Well, he's in jail for however long, and they quickly start to realize this guy has got it under control. You know, everything he touches is golden. So eventually the warden starts to put Joseph in charge of stuff. Well, one of the things he ends up in charge of is these group of guys. These pretty cool guys, you know. One is a, uh, they call him a drink bearer, but basically he's like a butler or a waiter or something like that. Um, and uh, actually, crazy lags. The lag I've been getting is actually kind of uh, good, I think. What is that? No, oh, anyway. So, Joseph puts him in charge. These, long story short, these two guys have a dream, and Joseph tells them. I'm trying to speed up so we don't go long in the episode. He they, he interprets our dreams, and they end up. He tells them this, and they end up out of jail, in favor with the Pharaoh again back as his servant well one day the pharaoh has a dream and he goes you know this is my dream this is what happened and these guys go hey you know what you need to get this hebrew guy out of jail we had dreams and he was able to tell us exactly what they all meant so the pharaoh pulls him out and the pharaoh is so impressed by joseph that he decides he is going to start putting him in charge of his affairs so now Joseph ends up being basically, aside from the Pharaoh, he is like the most powerful man in Egypt. You know, the Pharaoh tells him, you are in charge of everything. The only thing that I above you is my throne. That's it. Just my throne. And you'll never get that because I'm the boss, blah, blah, blah. I don't think Joseph ever had any admiration to get the throne anyways. He was happy where he was at. So... There you go. The long story short, Joseph never lost faith in God. He blindly, and I mean blindly, because that's what faith is. Faith is the blind following. He blindly followed God, and God took care of him. So guys, in our life, are you willing to do that? Do you blindly follow the Lord? Um, will you just be like, okay, God, tell me where to go. We missing Toso pants. We have pants. One. Did I not make the legs? Oh my god. Oh chest. No chest was what we're missing, guys. Why y'all telling me torso, huh? You trying to sabotage me, aren't you? Uh, for chest there. Boom. <laughs> this thing is crazy. You know, so in our life, we got to basically. We need to follow the Lord. We need to follow Him a hundred percent, no matter what. Now we won't freeze to death. We can do some serious hunting up there. And uh, always, always, always follow the Lord's purpose for us. You know, a lot of times in life, and I'm guilty of this just as much as anybody else, we go through life and we think we know what God has planned for us. We think we know what's best for ourselves. We don't. We're a bunch of idiots. Let's face it. I know I don't know what's best for me half the time. 
I think I do. And God will tell me, no, I need you to do this. And I'll be like, no, that's, that's not really what you want me to do. Come on. And I'll go do my own thing. And the next thing you know, I'm falling flat on my face. And it ain't working out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? Because I decided that I knew more than God. Which I don't. Absolutely not. So, what are we going to do off camera? I'm going to start collecting materials and we're going to start putting together our house over here. It's going to be humongously, ridiculously large. We're not going to be able to make a whole lot of more technological advancements until it is built. Because I don't want to have to break down stuff like fabricators and things like that. So guys, you know, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, you'll probably be seeing this episode Friday or Sunday. Uh, so yeah. That's it for me, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment with any kind of questions you might have. I love to answer questions. Smash that like button like it owes you money. And, of course, as always, God bless.